Hello and welcome. My name is Pablo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this course, you'll build an infinite runner game in virtual reality where we have to jump in real life in order to avoid this obstacle. So now I'm actually jumping in real life and it is quite uh, immersive because I almost feel like I'm going to fall and I just did. So it is a... Um, a simple game, but it uses position tracking in a way that hasn't been done before. Now, our learning goals. As you saw, we are creating an infinite runner game. So we'll implement all the mechanics that are part of an infinite runner game, whether it is for virtual reality or not. Um, we'll be using position tracking in a way that's very original. In fact, I haven't seen anyone out there or any published game or demos doing what we are doing with position tracking. So it's really cool. You'll get to see how something that hasn't been done is being done for the first time, basically. And we'll cover in, in a lot of detail the process of spawning all of these environmental elements. You saw all those trees, the giant grass things, the platforms themselves. So we're going to be creating a component that allows us to spawn elements based on the distance from, say, the player. And it is all going to be done in a way that is efficient. So we'll be using something called pools of objects to, to implement this. And it can be dropped into any Unity project and used uh, as it is. So it's also very flexible. So it is a component that you might be able to use in the future again on your own games. We'll also look at how to have that distant geometry, those trees in the uh, far away, and how we can use images for that instead of a 3D model. Now, regarding what I was mentioning before, which this is something that no one has made, um, I would like you to have an open mind because a lot of the things that you are learning here have huge applications everywhere else, not just in the game industry. So these games like this could have a big impact on health, on training, on all other areas, and you are at this point gaining skills that nobody else has. These are all very new things, so this puts you in a big advantage. You are learning things before everyone else. You have the opportunity to create things before everyone else. And the fact that you are interested in this course tells me that you are in, an innovator and a problem solver. So I very much look forward to see what you'll come up with. Now, regarding our courses, I've been making courses since 2012. Uh, we've taught online to over 200,000 students from all around the world. And something that we've seen again and again is that the students who really thrive and get the most of these trainings are those that stick to a plan and complete uh, the, the material, complete all the lectures. It's also important to mention that this can be done in whichever way suits your own learning style. If you're someone who uh, needs to watch uh, everything at, in, at once or in a short period of time, or you want to watch little bits each week, it's all up to you. Also, I would strongly recommend with this and all of our courses that you watch some of the lessons more than once. Some lessons cover more advanced concepts and it is all made thinking in advance that you might be able that you might be wanting to watch them again. So I try not to repeat things so that you can watch them multiple times. All right, so that is all for this introduction. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next lecture.